Well, just a really quick video again. Um, got the sim booted up. And this is what it uh, looks like. I'm actually, I just paused it uh, somewhere over southwest Ontario. I'm not sure where, but uh, I got my throttles painted. Um, gray now and slip them on the side tech and move them over a little bit so a little bit of a gap here I can move them on to the other axes but eh, I'm okay with that for now and last night I printed myself a spoiler lever uh, see it's flat on this side just for ease of 3d printing that's the side that sits on the print bed I can duplicate this half and then glue it on the back but uh, just gotta smooth it out and paint it gray and that's done so it looks a little bit more like the part. Uh, a little happier with that. Uh, even though they are pretty flimsy, the 3D printed parts are, are tough as nails. Here was round one for the spoiler lever. It turned out more like a golf putter. But I, I can stand on this thing. I, I can't even put it in. And it, the flimsy part is actually the, the Cytec yoke. So I might sister these up onto the other axes and then that'll make it good and strong. That's actually how these, uh, the original uh, throttle uh, knobs worked. They they just doubled up. I, this was a single actually and I cut them in half, but if I, if I sister it up it'll be a lot stronger. Anyway, um, yeah, everything's working as intended. I just have to, just have to resize my one RMU that I messed with. I can't seem to get it quite right, but uh, yeah, that's just operator error. I just got to mess around with it. Other than that, uh, everything else is working well. Um, one of my EFIS backlights has uh, it had a bad solder joint in it. I I know it's the surface mount LED. I just don't want to take it apart and fix it. So next time I have the MIP apart, I think I'll I'll deal with that. And yeah, onward and upward. I don't have the center console fired up or anything. Just this bad driver running the one of the SciTech panels, but uh, not a whole lot. Um, this is the DBS TCAS. I just didn't get around to closing it. That runs in the background. It's a, uh, I can't remember whether I paid for it or not. If I paid for it, it was very low dollar value, and it's a separate gauge. I just close it down on, uh, on start, and then my TCAS gives me my oral alerts, which I, I showed in a previous video pretty happy with that it was working good today I installed the uh, FS actually not FS just the RAAS Pro um, I can't remember where I originally saw that it was uh, it was Eric Tomlin on Hangar 45 that that brought up the RAS Professional I was running a freeware version but yeah phone washed out um, anyway, that's the config screen. If I could stop the exposure down, you'd be able to see it. But basically, what it boils down to is the RRAS Pro uh, does work better for runway enunciations. Pretty happy with it. It, uh, it It's a little less flaky than the freeware, but the freeware one announces faster, more like the real thing that you hear in Lear videos. But... Uh, that's about my only complaint. Pretty happy with it. Works good at all the airports I tried it at tonight. So, anyway, uh, maybe I'll show, throw a couple of shots of uh, the spoiler printing on the 3D printer. And uh, thanks for watching.